Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to another Match Day vlog. And I didn't think I would be saying that because I thought that the series was going to be finished, but I'm just going to carry on until the uh, the club tell me specifically not to do Match Day vlogs, basically. I've emailed them a few days ago and they haven't replied yet, so until they reply, I'm going to carry on as normal. So today it is the FA Cup. We are playing Weymouth, the fourth qualifying round, one round away from the first round proper, which is when we can play football league teams, so that's quite exciting. It's potentially games like Bolton away or Portsmouth away. Massive, massive potentially games in the next round, so there's a big incentive. Prize money, I believe, of about £12,500 from winning this round, so against a lower league opposition. We are in the sixth tier, Weymouth are in the seventh tier. They're playing fairly average this season. They're mid-table in the league, but obviously league form goes out the window completely. And, uh, you know, it's, it's still gonna be a tough game. They're a team that apparently likes to attack. So it's gonna be an open game. Hopefully there'll be some goals. Hopefully we will get the victory. Come on, Harriers. So the team news has just been announced and it is back to pretty much our full strength team. Zane Francis Angle is back from international duty now to come back into the left back spot that was played by Ashley Carter in the last match. Carter actually did really, really well at left back, getting the assist for the first goal against Fylde. But Francis Angle, probably our most consistent player this season, is back in the team. So our starting 11 is Sam Hornby in goal. We've got a back four of Tyrone Williams, Keith Lowe, Jordan Tunnicliffe, and Zane Francis Angle in midfield. We have got uh, Ryan Crowsdale in behind. James McWilkin and Elton and Guatala and on our front three on the right we've got Tyrell Waite at front we have got Manny Di Rebe and on the left wing we have Arthur Ganoa full strength team pretty much that so yeah hopefully they're going with a good mentality not getting too complacent because it's a lower league opposition and I'm sure that the way that I know the way that Eustace our manager sets up he won't be t treating this game any different to normal so they'll go in there fully focused on the match not complacent hopefully and if we do that then I'm confident that we'll win Yeah. 
so there you have it we're into the first round proper of the FA Cup really really happy with that 6-0 victory it was boy we deserved it really we dominated from start to finish it was always a case of could we get that first goal and once we did the floodgates opened Manny Di Sarebe with a really good first goal after about 30 minutes and then after that it was it was all one way they they defended solidly Weymouth for the first sort of half an hour until the, until the first goal but after that they just struggled the gaps started to open up and we were able we've got the quality in our team to to get through those gaps now and to really punish teams so we've got six goals six really really nice goals actually particularly the third one which is what I didn't get because I didn't get on camera because I was down uh, I was down waiting by the uh, by the tunnel so I'd go and get my half time pie so uh, I couldn't exactly get my camera out there since there were stewards stood basically right next to me so that wasn't ideal but uh, yeah probably one of the highlights actually was right at the end we brought on a uh, an academy lad so it was he was like uh, probably only about 17 I don't know how old he was called Mitch Evans so it's, re it's really nice to see players from our academy getting thrown into the first team like why not play him for the last 10 minutes we're 6 and up we've won the game and he played all right so uh, I'm really happy that, that he gave, came on a little cameo appearance nice little touch by the club so yeah, my man of the match today, probably Tyrell Waite, got two goals. Again, he's, it's another game from Tyrell Waite where he hasn't played particularly well in the first half, and then just come up with a goal. In this case, he got two goals. And he's ended up getting my man of the match award. So a, a good a good day. We're into the first round proper. I would personally love, uh, who would I like? Stourbridge at home, definitely. We lost to them twice last year, once in the FA Cup, once in the FA Trophy, both matches away. So uh, they're a local team. So I would just love to get that revenge and beat them because they're still in. Uh, they're a seventh tier side, so they, and they always do on the FA Cup. They've got to the first round five times in the last eight years, so they're they're a good FA Cup team, that's for sure. But uh, I would like to see, like to get them, or otherwise teams like Bolton away or Sheffield United away or or uh, Portsmouth away as well. They're really good uh, high profile matches that would be just be great to go to as a fan. So. Yeah, hopefully we get a good draw for the first round. The draw will be on Monday. I'll be bringing out an FA Cup review uh, on Monday, which will have the roundup of the matches and the draw in it, as as always, is what I do with the FA Cup. So if you've enjoyed this video, then hit that like button and subscribe. And before I finish, actually, Weymouth fans, you were class today. Absolutely brilliant, right until the end. Even when your team is 6-0 down, they made loads of noise. More noise than any team in the National League North that we face this season. Brilliant from them, fair play, and uh, good luck to the rest for the rest of the season to Weymouth. And thanks for watching. Seats, but it has a total capacity of ten thousand, and was opened in nineteen oh eight. So in at number seven is the first all-seater stadium on this list. 